All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com. Back here today, back to 60 frames a second, as that seemed to be the popular opinion. But it's not about that. What we're doing today on Mod Monday, so we're going to be talking about this little guy right here. This is the Minikin from Asmodus, double 18650, 120 watts, temp control. It's not perfect. There's a couple little things that annoy me about it, but in order to get to know this device just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always freaking do. Quick, short, up, be closey time, right? <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. What we have here is the Asmodus Minikin 120 watt dual 18650 box mod. It does 120 watts and temperature control. It's got a nice big, very big, smooth, very clicky button right there. Nice, big, bright display. Five clicks, one, two, three, four, five. We'll get you into the menu system. You can turn it off. You can switch it from power to titanium to nickel mode, back to power mode. You can adjust the brightness of your screen, which is something I haven't seen a lot of in these type of mods. And you can do this thing called exchange, where you can turn the background white instead of black. So if you were to exit out of the menu, now it says 120 in black, while the rest of it behind it is kind of that LED blue color. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I want it back to normal. It's got a battery level indicator right there. It's going to show you your volts, your resistance, and your wattage. Spring-loaded 510 pin on top, and the batteries are stored on the inside. This whole thing is metal, and it is very durable. Kind of slides off there. No problem. No problem at all getting the batteries out. They just pop out. You can use your thumb right here. Boom. Pop that out. You can see they're spring-loaded on the bottom there not spring-loaded on the top there, and it's fairly clearly marked where your batteries are supposed to go. Negative here, positive here, so negative here and positive here, just like that. This slides on and off fairly easily, but it does take some effort to actually get it off. I've never had a problem with this any sort of sliding off while I'm using it or sliding off in my pocket or anything like that. Once it's on, it's on pretty freaking good. You have to actually pull to get it off. So five clicks gets you into the menu, but if you want to lock it, if you want to leave it on, you just want to lock it, you press the up and the power at the same time, or the up and the fire at the same time, and it says system lock. So when you go to press it or adjust it up and down, it'll say system locked. To unlock it, you press the fire button and the up button again, and it says system unlocked. Now there's one wonky thing here with the fit and finish of this device. Overall, Fits in the hand, nice. It's nice and comfortable. Nice, soft, rubbery texture on here. My problem is what happens up here. You kind of see this gap right here. If we zoom way in there, you can kind of see that the top of this, there's a gap right there. I mean, you can clearly see through that, and it's not something that you can bend back down because believe me, I've tried. It's actually separated from the plastic housing of the sled right there and it looks flat on top, but for some reason, when you have this all together, there's a gap, you can see it. It looks like this is swooped up a little bit and I've tried with pliers to kind of get that to go back down into place because I feel like the fit and finish would really benefit from this being flush all the way around does the same exact thing on the bottom. There's just a little bit of a gap there, and I don't know why. Maybe that's too nitpicky, but man, that really annoys me. So yeah, as modest minikin, let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this little guy. So yeah, that's the Minikin, up close and personal. I actually really like the rubbery finish of this. I just, I really like the way that it feels. It has these little sort of curves cut into it to help you grip to kind of boom, pop that back off. It does take a little bit of effort to actually get it on and off. I've never had a problem with it coming off or anything, like I said, in my pockets. I'm imagining over time, maybe it'll get a little bit looser. This has been going on about two months of very, very regular use of changing the battery is popping this on and off and on and off. Haven't had any issues with it. The fact that that top has that little gap right there and the bottom has that little gap right there really bothers me for some reason. I hate looking at it because it looks like it goes up, like it looks like it bends up. I just wish the fit and finish on this was a little bit tighter. I would like that to be even, you know, with the back part there. When I hold it down like this, when I squeeze it, oh man, 
It just looks so much better. It just looks so much nicer. You know what I mean? Like a much nicer fit and finish. I'm not 100% sure how I ended up with this like baby blue, like pastel blue color. I like to be sometimes matchy matchy with my stuff. I've been rocking it with the Bachelor tank from EH Pro just because the O-rings are matchy matchy and that's what I've been using on it. This happens to be a pretty great tank, but that's why I've been using it on this. I've really enjoyed using this device, even with that little quirky thing with a dumb fit and finish that doesn't stay down. It's a really enjoyable device to use. The display is nice and bright. The up down buttons on the side sit flush. They're little clicky little buttons. This big, big round fire button on the front. I am a finger the mod guy. So I like to have the rounded part against my palm and I like to press the button with my finger. And this one is really nice, really super easy to press. I've never complained about a lack of power on this device. 120, honey, what, what? 120 watts is more than really I ever would like to use. I put some nice series unregulated builds on here, some nice higher resistance builds on here, like a 0.3, a 0.4. This is a 0.5 dual coil on here. And the performance has been just, just fantastic. I really do like this battery display here. It seems to be really accurate. I can vape it down till it's really just a sliver before it gives me like a, uh, like not enough power, uh, low battery warning. Now these do come in a rainbow of freaking colors. There's like a Tiffany blue one, there's a maroon one, a dark blue one, a black one, and they all look, yeah, fairly cool. There's even a white one that I think looks really cool. In fact, if I could get a black door, but a white body, ah, oh, now that, I think that would be sick. You can kind of mix and match the color of the body with the color of the door and get a little styly on there. Not all of them have this like soft touch feel to them. Some of them look shiny, like they would be a little bit harder, like a, like a polished sort of material. But as it stands, the one that I have has this rubbery texture and I really enjoy it. Now, are you going to need it? But yeah, it is what it is as modus minikin. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, boom, let's keep on vaping. That's enough.